Conte was in his prime to win now. You should have put the you should have put the club in the red back in the Gee, do you know that's the why I was? Do you know I heard Levy wants to bring him back, but there's members on the board that don't want him back. And I'm not saying any names, blood. Mm. In my opinion, nobody can begrudge Pochettino for taking the job. I've had my season since I was eight. I have not been, I've been to one game this calendar year. I'm cooking everyone, everyone. Such an awful season. I know people yeah. will say, you know, what about the 90s? I'm not talking about the 90s. I don't care about the 90s. I'm talking about the modern day, the present day that I'm living in, where I go to work and I, I can't bear it. Who's this? That was, I didn't pay that for this. Was gifted. I, I, no, no, that gifted. Was gifted. no, no, I know, I know. I know. Yes, people, and welcome back to a DR Sports special. You're here to talk all things Spurs today. We're going to call this SOS, I think. Save <laughs> our Spurs. Listen, I'm here with an all star Spurs panel, and it's only right. Next to me, I've got my man tapping Tobes. How are you, man? You good? Uh, outside of football, I'm great. Inside of football, I feel like death. Listen, there's, there's, there's a lot to talk about, but also joining me, I've got the big man, the main event, Big X, man. How are you? You good? But I just want to know what I'm doing here, blood. You know, them way there, man. Hey. These shameless Power Rangers over here wearing their shirts and that. You know, like, <laughs> hey, be, I don't know what we're doing here. Like, the treble's on for us. <laughs> and what are we doing here? Like, no, no, uh, honestly. Like, I expected to see Big Steve. And, and you, or something like that. Like, what are we doing here? I don't know. I'm and confused. Of course, we got Abby joining us as well. How are you? I'm good. I'm Listen, good. Listen, we, we had to wear some colours, you know what I mean? Add a For bit real, of representation. it's first chat, isn't it? We're here to spur chat. I ain't worn this in this months. Ain't, this ain't this, this ain't one. No what are you trying to say? I'm not wearing colours. I'm wearing the same colours as, as both of you. Boy. You know them way there, yeah. black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Listen, we're here to talk a lot of spurs today. There's so much to get into, but I kind of want to go back a little bit go mm. back down memory lane and just the start, if anything, of kind of how all of our stories started with Spurs. How did we all end up here? So, <laughs> Abby, let me start with you. Kind of, how did you get into Spurs and how did you start your journey with this club? Uh, how did I get into it? Well, my dad was from Edmonton, so obviously right next door Tottenham. Um, so he supported Tottenham. Family, then. family yeah. in the blood. Uh, my grandpa did as well on my mum's side. He supported Tottenham, um, so I didn't really have much choice. To be fair, my cousin though did buy me yeah. an Arsenal shirt, mm. and it, ca it came close. It did came close. Hey, so yeah, I think almost <laughs> every Spurs son but, has that. Mm, it was almost there. But from that point, where basically she tried to give it to me, my yeah. dad was like, "No, oh, fuck that. We're getting you a season ticket." And I was about, I think my first game was when I was eight eight or so. So that's how I got into it. And I've been a season ticket holder ever since. I used to go home and away. I barely now go home. Um, but that's because of the state of the club. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's been some obviously very happy moments um, in my life with Tottenham, but also a lot of very gut-wrenching ones. And unfortunately, they seem well, to just outweigh the good. Pretty on you from <laughs> yeah. birth, basically. But it, it, I didn't really have a choice. I was, yeah, I was is, always gonna have to be Tottenham. Is that a similar story of you, Hexton, as well? Because, um, obviously, we know your brother's a United fan. Or yeah. Was it household divided, or? Hold on a minute, but what is this? This is my life, or something? Because <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear you talk about <laughs> Abby's no, no, siblings. No, 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 no. You know them way there? I've got no Or her boyfriend there. I know you got one of those, man. You know them way there. a backstory as to how we ended up here because we all you want to know how the abusive all... relationship started yes, yes. that's what you want to know the, 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 the right, foundations boom. of it boom the well trauma. my mum my mum grew up in north london do you know what i mean me personally <coughs> like when i was born she'd moved uh, to northwest mm. but my mum grew up in north london innit? Yeah. my mum's uh supported tottenham and she actually watches football so it's not just like oh yeah because she didn't support tottenham through her dad like my granddad or my grandma like my mum just chose to support tottenham her and my auntie um out of the siblings to yeah. show support, support Tottenham in it. So when I was born, it was a thing where like, I was in Northwest blood. I'm growing up around, you get me the era of Ian Wright with the gold tooth and all mm. of that. All the man's brethren supporting Arsenal, da, 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 yeah, da, yeah. you know what I mean? I was watching wrestling, obviously with my granddad and that. When it came to football now, I'm not gonna lie. Like literally, the, the choice came to me, like everyone like, you know what I mean? Like the choice came late. I believe the choice came, I think I was like maybe eight years old. So later than a lot more people. I was about eight years old. And let me tell you this, blood, yeah? Like, my mum just said, nah, you get me. My brother was already supporting United because of my <laughs> uncle. Uh, my uncle supporting Man United. Yeah, used to yeah. take him football and that. And my mum said, nah, you know what? This one's mine. 
You get me, yeah? This one's mine. You're coming with me. The kit, fam, I got the kit. Get I got everything, blood. I remember everything. Fam, I got the kit. I was like, oh, yeah, I like it. Da, 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 da. And then as my brain developed, I realised what she was putting me through. Like, <laughs> do you know them way there? To wake up yeah, yeah. Like, as oh. when I'm going to school with my Tottenham shirt, and man, i like, who's that Bolton? And that, like, man, are taking a piss, fam. Do you remember Bolton were doing bits back then? Oh, yeah. Do you did. know them way yes. there? Like, yeah, yeah, blood. Uh, Leeds, Ampo, Newcastle, yeah, all them, man, were in Europe. No, and that. Yeah. Like, when man was growing up, so... Obviously, like with me, it was a thing where like my mum pretty much said, yeah, this is my project, blood. You get me? Like it, it wasn't Project Mbappe, blood. You get me? Hopefully it wasn't Project Gaza. Project, project, either, but suffering, it's project Sutton, blood. Yeah. You know them way right there. Mm. So then is that, is that same with you as well? Because it seems like the family just seems to be cruxing everybody. Because my, my one's a little bit different, funnily enough, because... Mm. I wasn't born in England, but is, is yours kind of stemmed down from the family as well? Because obviously really, your you know. twin, you've got a twin brother. I know. Who's an Arsenal fan. Yeah. So I'm crazy. like, how did that happen? Like, I'm convinced he, he's eating two wages off DR Sports. <laughs> I'm convinced. Now, I'm convinced this brother's eating two wages of DR Sports, blood. <laughs> like, do you know Switch them wages? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just switching up his thing, blood. You know what I mean? He's going to Gonzalez, and he's just like, yeah. Just do I would have said convinced. that if I never saw the head-to-head. -head, but I saw the head-to-head, and I was like, Bro, yeah, ain't I you seen that John claude Van Damme film? <laughs> Impact, Face blood, up. or whatever it was. <laughs> yeah, blood, when he plays to him and, and his what about, uh, what about the prestige as well? The prestige, yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't had a conversation <laughs> with both of them. They've been in the same room at the same time. Yeah. I can vouch for that. You can <laughs> vouch for that, blood. Yeah, not me. But, uh, but how, did, how, how did you get it? What was your kind of... Uh, how did yeah, you, you know what? Because it's, it's mad because um, my dad don't really watch football. And if he's watching, he's watching because me and my brother are watching. My mum is the same. She don't really have, like, deep ties to football. So it was like when we were kids, we just liked football and... Mm -hmm. Um, he chose Arsenal, and this was at a point where obviously we were growing up in. Because I, unlike, like you, I wasn't born. I wasn't born in England as well, but I grew up in Enfield. Yeah. Mm. And obviously, Enfield is predominantly Spurs. Yeah. He's chosen Arsenal, so he's sworn his allegiance to Arsenal. And I liked a couple of players at Spurs, and I said, you know what? I like I like these guys. Right. They weren't. What great. year was that? This was know? like two thousand and. Mm. One, two? Mm. Yeah. This is like 2001, 2002. So, we had the, that, that wasn't like Mal Bronk and that man, was it? Steed Mal Bronk and that. No, 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 no. No, 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 man. Steed, Steed was after. Okay, okay, okay. Steed was after. Okay, okay, okay. after. But we had, we had like Robbie Keane. We had like Ledley King as well. Okay. So there the was man at the cartwheel and the roll over. All right. The man at least had Stephen Carr. Man at least had Stephen Carr. There were some likable players. And then we signed Jermaine Defoe. Yeah, yeah, And then we had Freddie Canute. So we had some, we had some decent players. So we weren't like great, but we had some players. Yeah. And plus, obviously, the majority, it was like majority rules yeah. in our school. So we, we still had Arsenal fans, don't get it twisted, but the majority mm. were Spurs fans. So I said, oh, you know what? Crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not in my school. Yeah. In my school. So, so, yeah, oh, majority, yeah, so this was primary school. So the majority was majority was Spurs fans. So I said, you know what? Cool. You're going to ride I'm going to be a Spurs yeah. fan, right? See, because mine was the opposite. Mine was like, in school, it was all United and Arsenal fans. Mm. And I was born in Amsterdam. So I grew up kind of an Ajax fan. Mm -hmm. Came here 2099. And it was like, I, that, I saw basically my kind of intro was United winning the treble, Sol Campbell doing Spurs dirty. Yeah. And I remember immediately that getting my back up against Arsenal. Yeah. And just being like, every, all the Arsenal fans at my school are like, yo, you still haven't picked a Premier League team. Who, who are you going to support? So you never actually went through the Sol Campbell ordeal? I never Don't get me wrong, I never no, went no, through no, it. Yeah. I was in a coma. I came you know, afterwards. There, so I I, it was almost either. like my, my awakening you know, to it. Yeah, I'll be like, honest with you. Yeah. People want to know my thoughts on it, but I was in a coma. <laughs> like, like, but I, the I, thing, thing is, when that happened, you're like you're still quite young. You're too young to process it. You don't realise how severe it was when you got older. But when you're kind of younger, it's almost dramatised even more you look at things even more and I'm looking at Saul Campbell like nah this guy did it dirty because I saw the interview where he's like yeah I'm probably going to stay and then it's like you leave him in six months time mm. so yeah. for me it was a case of back then, I you know, knew I it wasn't going to be Arsenal <laughs> that yeah. was the one thing for me and it was kind of like Judas. what team so people were looking at me like yo Arsenal United Arsenal United who said I said but I live in Tottenham yeah I go Bruce Grove and then my secondary school was MPK I'm walking past this massive stadium every day let me go local I said mm. I didn't know what I had in store. <laughs> because mind you, when I chose them, uh, was it year six? I met Ledley King at, so they took us to some IT course mm. at the school. That had, Ledley King and Ricardo Rocha, if you don't oh, remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. They come yeah. through and I meet Ledley. I'm like, yeah, 
this is my guy. Mm. Jermaine Defoe comes in the summer. Canute, as you said, come. Edgar Davids comes yes. in the next year. Right. I'm like, see when that oh. happened, yeah, man knew, blood. I was see? like, you know what? Yeah. Yeah. And and you you remember, right Spurs like, were good. And yeah, mm. so for like, the then. next two yeah. or three years, it was like an exciting time. And you got, for me, Edgar Davids coming, like growing up an Ajax fan, yeah, Holland yeah. fan, I was yeah. like, my mm. idol has come to, this is it, I'm all in. Little did we know what we had coming. <laughs> Little did well, hold on. And, and he left like a year nah, and a bit. Nah, 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 I know it's well on this, yeah. But you got to remember, that was your dad. See, yeah. see when the whole Campbell thing happened, yeah? Didn't, I know it didn't affect us like as kids like that, but didn't your dad, wasn't he switching? He must because my crazy. uncle, yeah, the reason why I he knew it was a big deal, mad. yeah, because my uncle was like, that that bastard, <laughs> that, that soulless piece of, that C word, that do 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 My uncle used to, every time Arsenal were playing, like it was the big, like, that's why I know, mm -hmm. you get me? Not more than it happening, it was more yeah. than how my uncle was Everyone just, felt about it. Do you get yeah. me? It was crazy. I, yeah. don't, I don't remember my dad like going mad about it, but maybe just because I was, I was still quite young. So mm. what year did he move? Uh, 2000, was 2001. 2001 yeah, 2000, yeah, so 2001 I, was, I think it was. Yeah. I think I was six, five or, yeah. five or six. So mm. I was still quite young. I didn't get my season ticket until I was eight. Mm. And it was only around seven or eight where I started to get more into football. Fully invested get. I was in still, it. Little girl, love my Barbie, stuff like that. And then, mm. you know, but at, at, that, at that time, kind of period, it all seems like we kind of supported the team at the same time. And mm. it felt like under the Martin Yo was kind of the first initial yeah. rise. You yeah. felt Just like. before that, though, like Martin Yo, Jack Santini before Jack, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't yeah. remember the other guy before that. Um, but when Glenn I don't know how you remember that. Santini. Black. Yeah. <laughs> but that, was, that was a kind short race. He sucked. He sucked. What, what have been kind of like through these 20 odd years, what have been some of your kind of, what has been your highest high and your lowest low, if you could individually all just go, Abby? What would you say? Bro, well, our highest high is going to all be the same thing. Yeah. Right? No, but different ones, <laughs> maybe. Different ones. Uh, uh, I, I, I mean, look. I know it ain't going to be the one you lot are thinking. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. I think, look, you, I can't really say that the highest high wouldn't have been Ajax because just in the way that it happened mm -hmm. and like it was something that was so unbelievable to think of and conceive as a Tottenham fan that we could come back mm -hmm. to that degree in the last minute of the game like that just does not happen for Tottenham fans mm -hmm. it doesn't and it really felt like something was like it was like written in the stars yeah. and we go on and win it so I, I will say that that is it probably is up there as my highlight but genuinely I think the years of football we played under Pochettino were my highlight, yeah. like overall, mm. rather mm. than one specific, because mm. it was a time where we were so dominant and you were so proud to be a Spurs fan. Mm -hmm. And you know, like how you guys are, I'd be like that, I go to work in my full tracksuit. Yeah. I remember getting off, get, coming back from the, C the City game and like just going to work in my full tracksuit. I worked in an office at the time. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, you were that proud. Yeah, 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 and like yeah, you yeah. wanted to talk about Tottenham all the time and you just loved going to football because the football you were playing was so, Beautiful, it was so exciting. Mm -hmm. You know, we had Harry Kane coming through, we had Deli Ali that was just flying, Ericsson, everything was just, it seemed like everything was in place. And whether yeah. or not we were gonna go on and win something wasn't even necessarily in my head. I was yeah. just so happy to be watching a team that was competing and just being up there with the best of them and being proud to say, do you know what, that's my team, I support that yeah. team. And yeah. those those were my happiest highlights, to be honest with you. You mm. know, Juventus away when it was two I think it was two two wasn't it yeah um even the game that we lost at home to Juventus we should yeah. never have lost that game yeah, we yeah, were so yeah, much yeah. better Agreed. like Real Madrid even Agreed. just the games battle of the bridge I know we didn't win the game but just seeing that fight and that passion like they're they're highlights for me because it's something I don't see from the team here and now so yeah. those are all the things just during that time period I absolutely loved being at Tottenham and I would have and that was when I was going home away abroad up and down the country I'd have gone anywhere and spent whatever money because Facts. I felt they deserved it Facts Where would you, What Good would you facts. say? I got bare fam like you know then we're there like when we went undefeated at the lane do you know what I mean that season that, do you know what I mean especially knowing we were leaving because, yeah. do you know what I'm saying that was who did we beat in last was it Man United, yeah, United. With, yeah. with, United. with the cross was it Ben one. Davis with the cross and then the header well, yeah. I remember From Blood listen that so that and then the Champions League obviously Abby says I actually, yeah, but for me, even though it was the Champions League going up to the final, for me it was the Man City one, innit? Because I net, bro. I went to Man City, bro. I never thought, I didn't believe. I'm gonna play it right here now. I didn't believe. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I said, all right, yeah, we beat them one, whatever, whatever. I said, this is Man City. Look at the amount of money they got. You know them way there. Like I thought we was going out in it, yeah. And how we beat them, especially with the Sterling thing, and then when it was yeah. offside so and where I missed that penalty, it bro. I cut my leg there. open, <laughs> like you know what I mean. I was scarred for life. I still got a Harry Potter scar down my leg <laughs> yeah. from that one night. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like for me. It has to be, it has to be between the, the lane going undefeated there. And this is both Pochettino. 
you know what I'm saying? Or the Champions League thing, do you know what I'm saying? Or, or the, the, the Walter Tall Cup and that, blood. <laughs> what about you, Tills? What would you say is kind of like your highest moment where you've kind of been proudest to be a Tottenham fan? Uh, there's a there's a couple, you know. I can't lie. Um, the the Man City one definitely sticks out, man. Um, I know obviously Ajax comeback was after that, but that City game, like that City game, was a mad thing. Like that's the best that's the best game of football I've ever been to in my I life. See. Like it was and um, it was. And the thing is, the reason why like it's, it was a highlight for me is because like X said he didn't believe, which is fair yeah. and understandable with Man City, but I actually believed we'd beat Man City. I, so much so, the home and the away game, I literally said, we're beating these guys. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Because like Abby said, Poch and the, the team, they gave you that belief. That's mm-hmm. spirit. I, really I, I, was, I remember I, I had like ligament surgery, like probably like a week and a half before, before those, those tires. Just I went to the injury. Bro, <laughs> I, a, I swear to God, there's a photo of me outside. There's a photo of me at our ground for the home leg. And I'm in crutches. Cold. I'm in crutches, bro. <laughs> and then the, the away one, we took a cab there and back. Yeah. Ridiculous. Oh, we took Matt a cab it. there and back. Yeah, yeah. Because like six or seven of us. And it was a struggle to walk right but i said you know what i i will be there i have to be there because i know we're gonna go through right so like potch definitely the potch era is a big highlight for me but i think what was also a highlight as small as it may sound is when we hadn't reached the levels yet yeah. when we we didn't get champion qualification mm-hmm. and we had the martin mm-hmm. and wandy ramos beating i remember beating um like beating Chelsea when Aaron Lennon scored that that winner, that was that was really good. Beating Arsenal and Chelsea to the League Cup mm. in 2008, that was really yeah. good because we yeah. thrashed Arsenal yeah, 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 and yeah. then we beat Chelsea. I remember in the final, people saying, "Oh, they're not going to beat Chelsea." Didier Drogba scores one 0 and you're thinking, "Ah, oh, yeah, we know what's going to happen mm-hmm. here." And then ultimately, as well, Harry Redknapp, the crunch. Yeah, 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 when we got Champions League football, yeah. beating this, beating this Arsenal is my, this is the moment, and beating yes. and th- and Going the to thing City, is that game yes. exactly so, the so City everyone, everyone game City exactly game. Uh, everyone was talking about how like we had a tough running. We beat Arsenal, yeah. we beat Chelsea, and then we went away to Man City and won. Yeah. Bro, Do you get what I'm you saying? Hit the one. For me, that's the moment because I feel like that was the moment almost we arrived yeah. to actually be in a top six club. If you like. Prior to that, I felt like Martin Yo almost gave us that mm. feeling of almost being there, but a back-to-back fifth place. Yeah, Lasagna yeah, yeah. gate, it just seemed like, oh, mm. you know what? And for a couple of years, even after Juande Ramos, it just felt like, oh, we got a League Cup. You know, mm. w- w- we're kind of happy to just be around these places. But Redknapp came in and I felt like he changed players. He brought players like Modric, yeah, Van yeah, der yeah, Bar, yeah, yeah, yeah. Berbatov. Yeah, yeah. He had us playing like an actual style of play. And it was like this Tottenham way we speak of, mm. It's actually the way Harry Redknapp was playing. Okay. Free flowing, mm-hmm. Lennon, as you said, that blistering pace over there. Keen in the foal, rotating. You didn't know which forward lineup you yeah. was going to get. Pavlyuchenko popping up Love goals Pav. here and there, and Love it's super powerful. But that Loved way, him. what yeah. 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 don't actually, give, yeah. 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 don't actually give Redknapp a lot of the, a lot of that credit, you know. Yeah. Redknapp for me was get me because man need to remember that taxi for Michael and that who that was under. Man need to remember that. Man need to remember that. He got us to the Champions League, and then when we got to the Champions, he gave us a moment where even in that intergame, people forget we lost. Yeah, but. It's such a mm-hmm. moment where we saw a breakout player mm-hmm. that he signed. Mm-hmm. Un- unlucky 23 it was mm-hmm. where he didn't win for yeah. 23 games. Or He said, I'm going to turn you into a winger. You mm-hmm. saw the evolution. And I was like, my God, I can actually be proud of this club. I can be proud of the manager, the players that we've got, the mm. football we're playing. We're actually making progression. Mm. And this isn't at the point where we'll talk on this season where we've reached a point of frustration. <laughs> but we haven't done anything no. yet. It's all new to us. And I'm like... Yo, this is a nice time to be a Tottenham fan. It almost that for me was the almost like uh, all right, we're starting to see. Yeah. And then Pochettino comes, and it felt like we were we really good. That's what I'm saying, saying now. Yeah. Now we put a jetpack yeah. now because it was like it was going through a period of the Premier League loving foreign managers as well. And we finally got our own one, and he's young, up and coming. We're still playing the good football. Man, forget developing the team he, his own youngster inherited as well. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. man, Kyle Norton, you know, he inherited the Vh Boas mess. Because yeah, yeah. between mm-hmm. Redknapp and between Poch, there was the Vh Boas. Yeah, yep. Sherwood. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There was a whole load of chaos yep. and confusion. Fifteen players coming yep. in, Gareth mm-hmm. Bale going, yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. and Poch had to basically clear that. And we almost. He never had nothing left of what was good about Redknapp. He had to start afresh. And that, for me, was like... 
I always feel like that Redknapp era almost gets lost I between does, the, it does, it the does. League Cup and Pochettino. Agreed. And I, for me personally, it was almost like the proudest moment where I was like, that is a beautiful well, think time. Think about that time when we played um, Milan. They went through that crouch goal. That, that for it's me, such a huge moment. It's so forgotten about. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, we actually battered AC Milan. That's why when we when they beat us last time, I was like, yo, last time we played them, yeah. we yeah. bought yeah. them well, out. Was they, time had ago, Pato, they had them yeah. man there. We, we all leaked them. We <laughs> the thing is, you're right. Like the Redknapp, the Redknapp days, it was fun to watch Tottenham, but them. The the the, the, you can the, the sort of the what the sort of what if with Redknapp was just painful because in his first season he made a cup final we lost yeah. that to mm-hmm. Man United in his second season we made a cup semi final against a team that were relegated oh, yeah. 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 yeah yeah that was a chance to get to FA Cup <laughs> final it, nah, don't bro. Do, it. Yeah. do you get what I'm saying mm-hmm. and then um, two years later make an FA Cup semi final against Chelsea we don't do it so like Redknapp mo- Redknapp era was good I really like Harry Redknapp but mm. I always I always have to ask myself what if what if we had we had been better in a couple but of competitions? What if you had rotated the team? Are you team? not saying the same thing now? What if? I am. But that's, what this, this is what I'm saying. What and we're not had to deal with. There's a common. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Pochettino came there, exactly. yeah, and, and we all thought, oh yeah, Pochettino's exactly. the guy, man. And he and did the exact same yeah. thing, yeah. bro. That's what I was But the to. difference with Poch, yeah, I'd see self-sabotage, blood. Like, mm. I'd see Son at left back. Do you know that? <laughs> nah, big man, dude, bruv. Am I high? No. When we went Wembley, did man not start him at left wing back? Left wing back. I remember that. Bro, come on, G. Yeah. That Come on, it was he poor. violated him. You get nah, me, Black? Fact. The main, the biggest question on Harry Redknapp mm. is, what if he got the better players he had in that January yes. 2012 transfer yeah. when Spurs were third in And they signed Nelson well. and Sam. Exactly. Right. No, yes. no, but hold on a minute. Bill Modric who flying did, who and did, flying. Who did Harry Redknapp want? Because okay, Harry Redknapp... Aguero the so, or someone. Harry, Harry Redknapp, I'm not going to lie here. I'm, no disrespect, but Harry Redknapp is a sort of guy that will bring in Nelson. No, 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 no. He's no, a wheel of no, no, no. Leandro D'Amayo and oh, Jean Moutinho. Not the Saha. <laughs> not the Saha. <laughs> but you see the Ryan Nelson, yeah, I believe that was all, that was all. I don't, I don't. Uh, Are you uh, mad? That I was, don't, bro. I don't. I mean, last I, minute emergency though. I so who, who did he want in January? Who was we? I actually, remember Leandro that. Leandro D'Amayo and, and, and Jean Moutinho. I remember that. I remember that. I remember that. But we weren't getting those in January. He wanted Suarez. He wanted Suarez. In January. Yes, bro. Because Suarez signed for Liverpool. Yeah, in, in, in January, January yeah. Oh, and I never already. forget seeing an article about Sergio Aguero, it's like ingrained in my head about around that same time, Sergio Aguero being linked with a move to Tottenham. And I was thinking like, there's no way we're going <laughs> to get this guy. And then next thing he goes to City. But you cannot say to me that Harry Redknapp wanted Louis right, no, Zaha. No, 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 I didn't say Louis Zaha. I didn't say Louis Zaha. But Come back on, then, yeah, no. back then, yeah, I swear to you, blood, I swear, I in my heart of hearts, when, he, when I saw right now, I said, who the fuck's this guy? You know, then when I actually looked and I was just like, is a, this, is this, is this a red knack sort of player like, like Blackburn legend, dead you know? food, bruv. Like, I knew, bruv, bruv, listen, that guy was dead. Where was he from? Was Black it New Zealand? Yeah, New, New Zealand. Zealand. Like, yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that guy was dead food, bruv. The thing bruv. is, he was, he was, he was at the end of his career. Yeah, yeah. it was the tail end. That was the theme it was a, with He liked players. a deal, though. All like, Did Saha, like a deal, though. Did Saha and Good Johnson, I think Do you know who our owner is? You know what, Good Johnson? No, I know that. I know that, but did Red know, but Red also liked a deal. He did, but don't put But you know what, Good Johnson, that was, that was, that was a good oh, yeah. buy. That was a good buy. You can't forget that was there. I never got Johnson, man. I never got Johnson. Yeah, 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 he yeah. came through. He scored that one goal at Stoke. I said, Let yeah, me you ask know you, though. We've touched on a couple of managers there as well and gone through a couple of years there. What would you guys say is your identity of Tottenham? Like, how do you see Spurs' identity? Abby? What do you mean, Black? As in the way as I want like, them to play. As in, what do you, to you, what is Spurs' identity? All, all, when you all, hear the Spurs identity or how yeah. we want to play, what all, all do you of, see? All as? of those managers that we've just spoken about, Redknapp, even Yo, I'd say, Pochettino, mm-hmm. that Leo. fast paced, attacking football, free flowing, sexy football. Like, that is how I see Tottenham. That's the DNA of the club. Mm-hmm. And let's be honest, we don't win anything. So if we're not going to win anything, damn best believe I'm going to go there to watch some good old football. Now, that's my thing. Are, are you guys happy with entertaining football if it's not leading to winning. Mm, nah. Well, no. nah, but have we got yes, have we no. got a choice, Blad? Yeah. Because That's we've had to sit through fossil football, Blad, and we're not <laughs> winning nothing. We've had fossil football Crazy. ever since Mar- uh, Pochettino left. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You get me? Even with that shocking away uh, record that he had, yeah? Uh, let's just do the last year of Pochettino's thing, yeah? Between yeah. that, up until now, we've had fossil football, Blad. Yeah. yeah, we've had new manager bounces in between with Conte and Mourinho, but it's been fossil football, Blad. Yeah, and man ain't even looked like winning anything, bro. At least we, we, when we were playing attractive football, at least we got there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you know yeah, what yeah, I yeah, mean? Yeah. But now, nah, bro. Nothing. Regressions. That's what it is, fam. And, and would you say 
like let's move let's move on to a little bit more recent times. Would you say that Pochettino decision is like the worst decision? Absolutely, in yeah, absolutely. Spurs yeah. I said it, said it at the time. It's, that's a sackable offense for me. That's a, that's a sackable offense as a as an owner of the club because since then Spurs have been Spurs have chased short term wins with yeah. win now managers and they've not for whatever reason. Obviously, those managers haven't been perfect. We know Conte was pathetic this season. We know Jose Mourinho was pathetic in his last couple of months, but Spurs have been chasing these short-term wins with these ambitious managers, yeah. but have not really built a squad, a mm -hmm. team that's good enough in these managers' eyes to go on and, and win something. It's not good enough. Right? Did it screwed over from the manager to our right back. You see when Kyle Walker left, yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All of these short term look at the amount of money we've spent on right back since wasted. Kyle Walker's left. Wasted. Wasted, wasted. yeah? Kyle Walker, so Pochettino and Kyle Walker, you see from then, blood, it's all gone to shit. I yeah? agree. I'm telling had, you. And when Kyle Walker went to Man City, I knew I was a little man. I knew. Because you see, one thing about Daniel Levy, innit? One thing about Daniel Levy is as much as, yeah, we may say what we want about him, yeah? yeah. I remember when the Berbatov deal happened and he said, you know what, this is never happening again. Do you know what I mean? I think it was the Berbatov deal yeah. and he said, never happening again. Modric, man thought he was on uh, Roman Abramovich's yacht and that. Levy, the glasses Madrid. down on Sky Sports. Luca knows who he plays for. You bad boy. You know them way there. But you see, like, bruv, the decisions that he's made, like, for, since, like, with the right back and then the manager, like, fuck, can like, just, we're, just, we're paying for it right now. Just something you just said there about Berbatov. Like, mm. think of it from a Tottenham perspective. You sell your best player in Berbatov. Okay, he doesn't want to be there, whatever. You get back Fraser Campbell. Yep. Yeah. For and it was Berbatov. last minute as well, Abs. L L deadline last day. Minute. I remember yeah. deadline yeah. day. You get back Fraser Campbell mm -hmm. for Dimitar Berbatov. Now, tell me, on what planet is that a good deal for the club? On, on what planet is that a good deal for Tottenham Hotspur it moving was, forward? It was poor because I think they signed. So obviously we sold that summer. We sold Robbie Keane yeah, and to Liverpool. To Liverpool. To Liverpool. Yeah. Yeah. And and obviously we only we brought we brought in Pavlichenko, who I thought was a good buyer at the time. But big up Pav. Love but Pav. Yeah, yeah. Big had, up Pav. We had we had a shortage of strikers. He wasn't we had sold, good, but he loved we had sold Jermaine the year goals, before. Yeah. So we had what Dar Darren Bent. We had Darren Bent, Pavlichenko, and Fraser Campbell. From a team that had we, the fearsome foursome that was Defoe, Darren Bent, Berbatov, and crazy downgrade. So At least we brought Defoe back. To say. Yeah, we did. We brought, uh, we yeah. Back it almost January. seems like every single time that's happened, as you said, with that right back situation, we went from Carl Walker to Trippier to Aurier mm -hmm. to Doherty to Emerson. It progressively worse. Like, it just and progressively worse. got you know, worse, and we've seen that almost with every mm -hmm. single yeah. position. Mm -hmm. Where it goes from Ledley King, Jan Vertonghen, Eric Dyer, oh, Dembele, like, that, you get me. Dembele. Dembele, we lost, we lost Toby, yeah, yeah, yeah like like Dembele. Every single time over the Hoiberg. past couple of years yeah. since, oh, yeah, since never Pochettino, you never seem to We got Hoiberg for like three million or something, didn't we? Because we sent Kyle Walker's Peters for twelve yeah, million yeah. that way. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We signed him for fifteen Bro, million. We need a new midfielder, you know. Yeah. 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 Actually, yeah. How's Basuma sitting? No disrespect, I know Basuma hasn't been playing that, but. How's he, Big Basuma, sitting on the bench it's when maximum. Hoiberg... No, don't Hoiberg, say no disrespect. It's maximum Hoi, disrespect. Hoiberg, but yeah. Been, I think that was Hoiberg is like Tottenham uniform. That guy's the I first know. name on the team sheet if it ain't Harry uh, Kane. Hold on. So who's the other one that's the first name on the team sheet as well? What, Harry Kane? Eric Dyer. Yeah. How bad? How bad has this season been? Nah, though? Like got, when we started this DS season, it felt like it felt like a lot of Spurs fans were <laughs> saying like, "I was not not me." I was optimistic, but I was saying a lot of Spurs fans saying we won the transfer window. Yeah, we've done well in the summer. Conte's been backed. We've actually spent some money, and we should be getting top four comfortably. And we've got Conte as well. Mm -hmm. And last season, that was the one factor where. We had scrubs that were worse. Conte <laughs> got them to yeah, yeah. Yeah. So now he's got extras. <laughs> yeah. We might even push a little further. Yeah. But then where did it all go wrong? So yeah. I, I think, I think bef first and foremost, before we actually get into the, the dynamics of the club, we have to acknowledge Conte's part in this, man. And as painful, it's the truth. As painful as it sounds for me, as I'm a Conte, you know me, I'm a Conte enthusiast. Um, I still, I still, I still like this manager to this yeah, day. He's still, one, like he's still one of my favourite managers, but yeah. it's been Italian food a criminal, <laughs> it's been, no, no <laughs> it's been a no criminal pasta. underperformance no from Conte pizza, as a manager. Nothing. And you can see it in the tactics, in the substitutions, yeah. in the in yeah. the choices of, of of players that he picks in his starting eleven, mm -hmm. in the in the formations. Everything he's done this season has been poor, mm -hmm. and it's been really poor. And you get you gave him a lot of rope. You said, okay, this player is injured. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's the start of the season. No, once this player is back. No, once we change to this shape. No, once you sort this out and that out, then it'll be better. But eventually, the excuses just had to stop, and mm -hmm. you just had to see that yo. My guy, 
you are the problem. So I think first and foremost, irrespective of whatever we say about the club, which is valid, mm -hmm. we have to take into account that the club did give Conte a substantial amount of money and a lot of players that he wanted mm -hmm. and he has not performed. Because I believe that as bad as we've been this season, mm -hmm. we have a squad that should be doing better than it has done. Facts. Like when you look at some Do of the Yeah, yeah you know, when you look at some of the results we've Listen. genuinely South Southampton mm -hmm. away, you're telling me we don't have a squad good enough to beat them? We do. You know what's Everton there? away? Mm -hmm. We do. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Um, the results I disagree Aston with. Aston the squad the part squad, is I, where yeah. I'm a bit. I agree. I agree. I agree. Like, oh, no, 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 what it is? Yeah, you're looking at it. Yeah, you're looking at it of how we're performing in it. Mm -hmm. But you can't look at it you like look that at it on because paper. at the start of the season, when you got deep, it the training that Conte should have been doing with this team and the inclusion of all of these players that he should have been spent. So half these men, like Papa, so they didn't get a minute. Then they get thrown into the North London derby. Do you understand? Man. It's a disgrace. It's a disgrace, bro. Listen, yeah. Like, if Conte, instead of running these men to the ground, having them throwing up in South Korea, I'm there in South Korea seeing them man throw up on the pitch in that blind. Mm -hmm. You get me? It's a disgrace. You're running them to the ground, no tactics, no formation, one and done. If it's going wrong, blood, you get me? If the house is on fire, the man just sits there, blood, and watches it burn. Yeah, yeah. You know them where they ain't saving no one. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So for me, I blame Conte a lot because with the players we got, yeah, Jed Spence, yeah. Do you know how many people wanted him? We needed a right back. Uh, um, we needed a right back here. Yeah? Look how many people wanted him. Yeah, yeah. He might not be having the best time at Rennes or whatever, but he hasn't been playing. But here's the thing, though. When when Conte come in and he says, "I need a right back," mm. you've just signed Perisic at left wing back, mm. that caliber, yeah. a, 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 a guy who's a winner, who's done it, quality proven. Mm. I just need the same on the right side. And then we essentially gave him, I feel like, a championship unproven talent. Conte was never going to take the to I, Now, that's, that's where I feel like we let we him down. We no, I hear, that, and then it's also, I hear that, Conte is a back Conte, five manager. I hear that. In but, the summer, how many centre-backs do we But Conte get? didn't have... Right. But, 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 and that has been a weak Conte area. Didn't have, Conte years. didn't have to sign Jed Spence. I know the, I club, the club wanted him, but yeah. ultimately... Well, what did it, he say in the first press right, conference to Jed Spence? Yeah, but why did you say that? Not mine, but he could have said no. He could have said no. Hold on a sec. First and foremost, Antonio Conte had only committed one year and a half of his life to this football club as if he was doing us a favour. Yeah, but so that's for, for me, I, I'm fully yeah, yeah. on your wavelength. With Jed Spence, that is a very good prospect. That fits in Facts. very well with the Tottenham DNA. If I'm Daniel Levy for once, I'll agree. I that's a very good head. club signing. Mm -hmm. Just Facts. because Antonio Conte doesn't want him, that doesn't bother me. If yeah. you want another right back, go get another right back. But the main focus should have been on your defenders for me. Right? If you want Bastoni, Bastoni don't want to come. You don't mm -hmm. go to Clement Longley as your backup. Nope. But for me, Jed Spence, that's not someone that was necessarily going to hit the ground running, not under Antonio Conte. But that's a very good club signing. You don't throw your toys out the pram and say, he's not my signing. You're the manager of this club. Work with the managers that you've got. Do you know what my thing is, though? Is if you're giving Conte an 18 month contract, you've given him that 18 month contract because you failed to get him in the summer. You wanted to give him a two year contract. But Essentially, that's not committing yourself. But it's not committing yourself. I feel like it's on both Conte, sides. I'll be honest with you, it's Conte, both did, yes. Conte did take a step down in taking the job from us. He's just he's left. Paid 20 he's million for 18 he's, months. No, but he's just left. I think the title winning Syria. I think he did, I, I, I think and he did because, take because he just left they, the title winning Syria because the money. Exactly. Because then why come to, then why he come to he walked away from a title winning team because they weren't back. Then why come to Tottenham now, when you know how tight but your position is? Tottenham have now are. sold him the dream of listen. I agree. Come to us. We know we didn't I give fully you what agree you wanted here. in the summer. We fumbled around with Nuno. Sorry, we're now coming to you with our hat in hand, and I promise you, we'll give you everything you want. So the way I saw it, when Conte came in with that 18 month. He's put the board on trial for three windows. Yeah. He said, I'm going to give you three windows. You guys want to win, right? You guys want to win right now? Cool. I'm going to give you three windows to show me what caliber of players you're going to bring to this club to win. So when I see the second window of the three, we're bringing Spence. We're overspending on Richarlison. Lengley is the key signing at center back and Forster, the backup goalkeeper. I said, But yeah. do you not G think he's... If, and then I'm saying, 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 saying... When I saw... When I saw... Chelsea spending 600 mil. Yeah. I'm seeing... Uh, Everybody no, but we else didn't see that. Chelsea significantly. Chelsea hadn't done that yet. No, no, no. But Chelsea, at that point, mm -hmm. I signed Sterling. And yeah, you knew spent, Bowley yeah. was coming in and money was going to get yeah, spent. Yeah. So I'm thinking, all of these guys are going to gear up. We can't come here with G. the developmental plan that we previously come G. with. We I have been this developmental club for 10 years or yeah. so. Yeah, yeah. Our chairman now needs to put his hands in his pocket. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You have a but manager Hold that's on. in the I hear that, yeah. Jose. I hear I that, yeah. With Jose, when he came in, people said, oh, he's past his best or whatever. Mm. Conte was in his prime to win now. You should have put the you should have put the club in the red backing him. Gee, that's, do you know? That's the why I was. But do you know how much mistakes that this football club's made? We've got players that are unsellable. Yeah. 
Do you get me? We're no, we're we're we what? can't get rid of and, and Dombele, Celso, yeah. Doherty. <laughs> look, look how we had to get rid of Doherty the other day. The Emerson, no one don't want we these bums. So, G, would, like, yeah. I'm, bro, we to say we'll pay I don't want this club to fold, blood. I don't want them to get no FFP or whatever, this, that, and the other, rah, rah, rah. But one thing I will say is, reason why I get upset with Conte is because I've seen how the other managers have been treated, innit? I've yeah. seen yeah. Jose Mourinho want someone and get Joe fucking Ruben, Roden. Ruben you know them yeah. Ruben, Ruben Diaz, Diaz and then man get Joe Roden, yeah? And say what you want about Levy because bro, I ain't, I'm not in this corner at all, blood. No. I'm angry, fam. But I've seen an improvement from the mistakes that they've made because when man brought in Kulazeski, because I count it as one, so we got Kulu, Bentancourt, I'm mm. seeing Bissouma, mm. Brighton. You know how many you man wanted him? Richarlison. Forget about the 60 million, yeah. I yeah. don't know about the. That's on them, who, why they wanted to pay this, that, and the other. But I'm seeing Richarlison, Prem proven. Bissouma, Prem proven, blood. Do you know them? Way that's no, blood. I'm seeing Jed Spence, yeah, a man that can come through. I saw man pocket Martinelli and them, man. Do you know them way there? So I'm getting excited, blood. Perisic. Uh, I was excited because I knew it was a Conte signing, yeah. 100%. Didn't yeah, 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 four yeah. star didn't care about. Do you know Back them way keeper. there? Yeah. Long lay, I did not care about, and I was fuming because yeah. I thought our main problem was our defense. Yeah. We only made Champions League because Arsenal bottled it yeah. last mm -hmm. season. Fact. Don't go on like Conte did any magic. Duh, 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 duh. No, he didn't, bro. We he lost did. stupid no, games, bro. Bro, what, it's get, both, what big game? It's, it's both. It's yeah, both. Yeah, I agree. I agree. What big but game? Arsenal definitely Gee, bottled it. What big? They no. Yeah. Arsenal, one hundred percent. The only the reason Newcastle, why we made, Brighton, bro, the Flamin only Barbie. reason why we made Champions League is because Arsenal bottled it, bro. Wrong, for, not even a Newcastle game, Tobes. It was the one even before then. Do you get me? Because like, remember, like Arsenal, us, uh, Newcastle, Newcastle. I mean Arsenal. Arsenal played. They lost to Newcastle, but they lost one before then, yeah. and it wasn't us. They lost to us. They lost to someone else, Brighton, I believe. No, Palace no, no, and Palace. Newcastle. They yeah. Were, no, no. So they, they, I think they, they, they dropped points in like three games. Yeah, three games yeah, in, in a row, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They won three games in a row, heading into that. Heading, heading, heading. Yeah, but then we were already at that point where we, we were had already to in lose. the advantage we at had that to point. Lose we at taken Norwich. the advantage of that. Yeah. I, I, I so. agree with you that this, after the Burnley saga last season, where Conte was like, I can't be here no more. Was it Burnley? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, that was a very big turning point. And after that, we kind of went on and were playing much better throughout the season and whatever, we, look, we looked like a better side. And I do think on paper, I agree, like when you look at how it was in the summer, they're good signings on paper. Yeah, the price tag of Richarlison, okay, well, how long are we gonna yeah. go over that? Yeah. But they paid that money. It's not a bad signing to bring in as a squad player. Mm -hmm. But honestly, it's, it, it, I think that Antonio Conte didn't ever believe he was staying there. And I do think he thought he was doing us a favor. And I think- had, it, Hold on, hold on, wait, wait. I, wait think he was go I think he thought he was going to Manchester United. And when that didn't happen, yeah. were you the only club left on the table? Tell him, Abs, man came here for a payout, blood. He didn't care. And he got rid of all our attacking midfielders too, blood. So we got not, now big man team. They were shit anyway. Wait, I hear that. They G, I anyway. hear that. Look, Ali, Ndombele, Le Celso, I hear all of that, but G, we I got no Jose wanted to front. get rid of Jamal G, as well, G, G, by the G, way. Listen, G, listen, G, listen, G, listen. We can't play 4 2 3 1. We can't do it. No. We got we no got facilities. Midfield. We're there looking to buy Madison in the summer. We need more than one. We've got no attacking midfielders. Unless you're going to play Kane, he ain't going to be there anyway. Do you know them way there? <laughs> I get you. I get Bro, you. How, no, 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 Wait. no. This is ridiculous, blood. When I'm playing FIFA, I can't play 4 2 3 1. No, unless I play Kane there. Put Kulu in the 10, innit? Don't tell me what to do, man. <laughs> he's not. He's not. It camp. works. It works. Don't tell me what to do. That's no, not no, 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 That's not. Stop shaking his hand. You shirt no. merchants. Yeah, you shirt <laughs> merchants. Yeah. Hey, man, have got, man, <laughs> man have got no attacking midfielders from a team bro. that is meant to be in a, built in a on football team. attacking DNA. No, I get that. I, and honestly, we, we we can all agree that there was a criminal underperformance from Conte as a manager, which is why he rightly got sacked. Mm. Spurs didn't have an amazing, Spurs didn't have an amazing window, but we didn't have a bad window. It wasn't we bad. signed, did, did and I remember- buy, Did we buy Romero so as well, that window? No, 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 oh, so we, that was perfect. Yeah, so we, because I remember when we did that thing on my channel, we were literally mm. going through the ratings, yeah. and I think your average came up to close to six, six seven. Yeah, mine six. Mine came up to like a six, and a, yeah. so like, mine was it, seven, it, yeah. it, that shows in our head that like, yeah, yeah. it was wasn't a perfect window, but there are some good players here, good enough that the manager can work with even Longley. You know my attitude on Longley. I didn't want this guy. <laughs> but when he, when he was signed, I said, you know what? Just because of Antonio's track record, he actually has a proven track record when it to comes to improve working, mid. working mm. with media yeah. players and make and making and them better. Something yeah. out of them. So yeah. I said, you know what? If if you are if you've agreed that Longley should come, then fine, cool. 
But I, was, I wasn't happy about the fact, because I remember Tanganga was meant to be sold and we thought, yeah, yeah. We yeah. thought Longley God. signing because another one's going to come in. Yeah. And that was, other one didn't come was, in. That was, and that was a problem. Honestly, that was my issue with a lot of the signings was I felt like we, every signing that kind of came in, we were looking at and saying, oh, Makonte can make him a better player. Mm. Makonte, it, should, it shouldn't be like that for my eyes. Who, what, 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 the ones that, no, who are you talking about? Richarlison, Basuma? Yeah. Nah, I'm, I was happy with Richarlison, Basuma. Basuma. could I look at and say, Okay, he's already a certain well, player. He was, he All the other, Perisic, I would have said. Yeah. I was worried when Perisic. Spence came in on under Conte. Right. I knew he wouldn't make him better. I was worried. No, I, I, I thought Perisic. Get, we, uh, I was worried. One more year, we could squeeze out of him before Destiny comes next year. But I thought at least yeah. Conte, Spence, he might be able to milk something out of him. Lengley, he might be able to milk something out. And I was like. Okay, but are we just going to rely on Conte? Because if Conte, no, as we saw through his toys out of the pram, I agree. Now and it that's all the, goes to shit. And that's and the that's drawback. what's happened literally. This, as soon as it felt like, once we got knocked out of the January, let's yeah, be yeah. honest, yeah. it felt like the club were like, okay, we're not going to back this guy because he's not signing a new deal. He's now which decided. I do, which I actually do which, get. I do and, get and that. I get, but if you're going to do that, then sack them. I know. Yeah. Because I agree. You, you basically, after yeah. January, I felt like we were. War- Walking dead walking. To Jeez, do you know why I, I blame? What did I say? We, I said early we should have got Ron, rid of him. Do you know why? Yeah. Do you know why yeah. I blame Conte, blood? And I will always blame him. I will blame Levy too. But why I'll blame Conte and he has to play his part in this season is because we've got a better team, yeah, than half of these men that are beating us in it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Look what Eddie Howe was doing at Bournemouth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Obviously they weren't doing anything like up there. Yeah. But with the, the games he had to win, man was playing good he football. Was he was winning. Do you understand? Newcastle so do you need now. to tell? Yeah. Look so at him now with a better team. Look what he's doing now. He's got a bit more money. Let's be just that well, yeah, rah, rah, rah. They were 20th last year. Bro, so don't tell me that Antonio. Bro, the Zerbi, any of these managers would have done better with the squad that yeah. we've got. Antonio Conte, it's like, he said, you know what? The club ain't giving me the. It's like he wasn't even training them. Mm. It's like he just gave up. Listen, yeah. it was yeah. when you, get, when you came, came out. Like when, after... when he came out and he was like, oh, January, I came, I saw the players, I had a word with them, this, that, and the other. And I thought I saw something back. And then there was nothing. That was one annoyance yeah. I did have with him. He always talked like as you said he's doing us a favor yeah. and it's yeah. like they I, can't, they need to, I understand maybe if it's like the first week or two you're kind of imposing your yeah. presence but then afterwards kind of buy in and talk with the us and we uh, yeah. it always felt like he was, he was, he was like them and us, and us. That's, what, that's what disappointed me the most about how this ended because <laughs> he was talking about us and we in the in yeah when summer. he signed his new deal blood yeah, 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 yeah. yeah when, when, when the money was fresh when blood as soon as it cleared blood he was talking about no we blood it felt like you know what yo like you could sign on Maybe we can sign this player, that mm-hmm. player. Spurs, you could, you could actually win something here. And it's just, honestly, I'm so disappointed with the way it ended. <laughs> well, what percentage, <laughs> if you had to each give me like a percentage split on how much you feel Conte takes blame for this season, what would you say? I think it is completely split between players, board for, and uh, Daniel Levy. Yeah, yeah. So 50-50. Players, Conte, Levy. 33, 33, yeah. 33. I think, around. I think you, it can't just all be on Conte because yeah. we've seen the same pattern year yeah. in, year yeah. out. Cause, and a, and Abby, a lot I of those agree. players are still Abby, there. Abby's 100%. right, Abby's right, because 100%. we've, when we've, because obviously I don't want this video to look as if we're putting it all on Conte because mm-hmm. we've spoken about Conte's blaming this. Yeah. No. But then we need to speak about Everyone the players. Needs to take their blame. We need to speak about the players who weren't moved on in the summer. Yeah. were kept here. We need to talk about the fact that the club told us and all the club and all its journalists told us, oh, Brian Hill's going to go out alone. Tanganga's going to be sold to Nottingham Forest. You're still going to get those two really good centre backs. You're still going to get that another really good attacker. We didn't get anything. Why, do, you know we, why, do, we, why, why do we struggle to move these players? They're, I just told like, you, they're unsellable. Bro, no, I, but it feels like Davis. Dyer, nah, nah. Mora. Can, can I tell you um, why? Can I just like, tell you why? There's so many names, but and we were talking off we were, before. Yeah, we were yeah. talking before we started filming, and this is something I always say when it comes to Tottenham. We are so reactive, we are not proactive. Agreed. So when you look and see, even going back to, I'll go back to the pot years, right? So, for example, Toby fell out of favour, they brought in Davison Sanchez. Okay, he was doing all right in that first season yeah. under Jan, but clearly it didn't work. He reverted back to having Toby there. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, Ben Davis, fine as a squad player. Now we move forward, right? to Jose Mourinho. Eric Dyer, who was fundamentally in midfield or used as a squad player, is moved to centre-back. Okay, he's, he believes he's a centre-back. It doesn't work. You can see it doesn't work yeah. under Jose Mourinho, yet he's still here and they're going to offer him a new contract. <laughs> ben Davis is still at the club. Hugo Lloris has been past it for the past three, maybe even four seasons. Lord. He's still at the club. Uh, who else were we talking about? Uh, there's so many names. There were so many, know. honestly. Lacelle Sol but is Lacelle still Sol here. Not working out. And, like, Dembele, and we can't sell them. And Cessignon. I think part, Cessignon. Cessignon, part of the problem is that we keep players for so long. You know, Danny Rose. Think yeah. about how long we held on to Danny Rose. He 
He's, yeah, to ended up terminating his terminating contract. contract. Yeah. Matt Doherty terminating the contract because couldn't couldn't sell Dele him. Ali. Dele Alli. Dele Alli paying someone to take them. And the problem is, is because we we like to hoard our players mm -hmm. so long that when they're at a peak. Okay, no one wants to see their best player go, but if you, we could trust the board to maybe reinvest in the best way possible and rebuild the squad and regenerate how Sir Alex Ferguson used to do with one or two mm -hmm. players every summer, re keep it fresh, regenerate, mm. then we could trust the board to do that. But they hold on to these players so long that they have no market value. Danny Rose went from being a 50 million pound player to being on a free. Eric Dyer is going to get mm. a new contract because they cannot get rid of the guy. He was worth 60 million. Ben Davis, nah, but, but, but ben Davis is going to get a testimonial. The thing is, it's just, it's, it's, <laughs> oh I, I, I do, I've always, I've always said this reactive, not proactive thing as well, but I I just think like with Spurs, they're just not ruthless enough in, yes. in dealing we with use like, that word squad, squad well, attrition. Yeah. They're, they're not. And they showed signs of it last summer when you're taking it out in January, the free, taking, the free taking it out on, on, yeah. on, on, on Dele and, and uh, accepting that you take the cells on alone just to get them out of the squad and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like with Spurs, it's always like, it's one. It's a couple steps forward, and ten back, and then like ten back, yeah. and, and and I just don't understand it. Every time it looks like we're making a little bit of progress on a specific part of of of, of our club that is a problem, they always take a step backwards, and I yeah. don't understand it. And ultimately, the attitude comes from the top down. Yeah, hundred percent. Yes, it yes, really yes. does. 100%. When you have when you have an owner uh, when you have an owner and a and a structure that's so that's so reluctant to to let go of players unless you get your your, the valuation that you want, mm -hmm. or unless you feel like you've had your value for the player mm. met. It's just... You know what's mad, yeah? People, people love to say, yeah, that Tottenham fans are disrespecting Daniel Levy and that, yeah? But one thing I'll address, yeah? I want to thank you for where you took us from mm -hmm. Facts. and brought yeah. us to, but if this is as far as you can take us, then you need to cut blood. Agreed. Because we need more. Mm -hmm. Like, you get me? Yeah. I want... Thank you, blood. You get me? Because when I used to go to school and that Tottenham were coming 12th, 15th, yeah. or whatever, blood, like, we were scrubs. I'm not going to lie. Thank you. You showed me that we can actually play football. You get me, fam? Like, you should, one trophy. Track some decent you get players. Me? Because, man, I, I, I weren't seeing the black and white trophies, blood. Mm. You do, get me? I yeah, weren't yeah, a born. Yeah, 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 do you know yeah, what yeah. the saddest part is, right? Mm. So, I can also, I'm very critical of Daniel Levy. Mm. Everybody knows so. that and the way the board is. I can absolutely thank him for what he's built in terms Thanks. of a business. I mm. would, my one wish for Daniel Levy, for Enoch, is if you could only match the same ambition you put into running the club like a business, mm -hmm. into running it like a football club, mm -hmm. that is the only wish yeah. every single Tottenham fan will ask for. This Just to it. have an owner and a chairman who is as rich as Roman Abramovich was, to mm. put Just your money where your mouth is. And actually, the amount of more, of more money you generate as a business if this team was successful, mm -hmm. come on. And that, was, and, that, and, that, and that sometimes is where it annoys me um, even like when we say like how far he's brought us, like I agree. And I even think like doing a stadium is a fantastic move, moves us forward for business opportunities, NFL business and opportunities. extra yeah, yeah, income yeah. and all that Go I get. Karting. But as Skywalk. you said, I think it, for me personally, it was the wrong time. Yeah. The reason, why Chelsea, him, that the was reason why Chelsea have been able to be so successful and spend, mm. they don't have stadium to worry about. We can invest that all into our playing staff. Mm. Right now, if Chelsea decide they want to buy a stadium, Fantastic. We've been eating trophies for 20 years. Yeah, yeah, we can, yeah, yeah. We take, can take a, a little drought, yeah. But for us, it's nah. almost like we've got all the decorations, but our house is on It's very reminiscent of, of Arsenal when they moved to the Emirates, but the difference is they'd already won it. They'd already, they'd already won, won it, won it so, all. And, and that's, that's my issue is for me, I felt like Daniel Levy wanted to get us to be this finished project too soon, too quickly. Yeah. When in actual fact, take your time building well, this thing. And, uh, and, that, and that's where I, I'm annoyed. I, 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 I appreciate where you brought us, but... I feel like he should have checked out a long it's time where ago. where we're going is the problem. Like, when, when the stadium was complete, mm. that was your moment to say, look, I brought this club as far as I can. I brought Champions League football here. I brought the stadium here. I brought international managers, international players. I brought you world record fees. My work here is done. Time for some billionaires or a state let to me take Let over. me sell. Yeah. Let us sell and we club. would have actually looked back at him and said, you know what? Thank you. Where you took yeah. us, thank you. But now what you've done is you've soured a relationship. And since then, it's been, what, the last four years of win-now management, try lasting to keep trying to blur the Spurs fans. If Blood. You, like. Just keep you know what's mad, yeah? These men, do you know the amount of businesses that they ran out of Tottenham and the amount of things yeah, that yeah, they did yeah. just to build this stadium, uh, yeah? And you Chick know what's King's still surviving. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Big up Chick King. Out. Come on, my G. You know what I mean? But you know what's crazy? So all of these people have lost their homes, their business. I'm, obviously, they've been paid and, you know what I mean? All yeah. of them things there. 
But all of this had to happen, yeah. And he, he didn't do it because, oh, yeah, stadium, we're going to win trophy. Man did it literally just to balance the, the books, blood, to make sure we're a business that can run in like the future. He doesn't care about the football side of it. No. Do you get me? Like, and he's openly come out and said that to man. You get me? Like the one interview that I've seen recently, the, I swear he oh, came out and said that. And said, I don't know nothing about football. He like, said it years back. He yeah, said it years no, back. But, no, but didn't he come out recently he, and say something again? Oh, the Cambridge one. Well, yeah, 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 they, yeah, the Cambridge When they team. first acquired the club, whether they had, they also owned, was it AEK Athens yeah. or something else that they owned? Mm. And they said basically there was way more profitable to own so Spurs. So it's so almost like they were an investment. Yeah. Part. But yeah. how but can we make more money? Do you know what the funniest thing was? The AEK Athens fans, I remember also reading an article, it resurfaced not long ago, said, Good luck. Like when they said they was then buying, he was taking over and buying Tottenham. They were like, "You'll have fun," like as if knowing what we were then yeah. in for. I just no, think but he made a good decision because even with the shit we're going through I right know. now, you still got man buying shirts and that. Yeah, but oh, then, fair, then, I, then, I, 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 I was giving this. this. I was giving this. <laughs> 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 That we was, I didn't pay that for this. No, no, that right. no, 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 I know, I know, I know. We all get them now. We all get them. But I thought I'd just dig you. Out. I, I wanted to draw him out. Nah, I, wanted, I did. I did. I wanted to draw him out. I wanted to. I saw you post yours. I wanted to draw him out. Like, I want them to be. Like, oh yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. They, they weren't like that. See these influencers, black. But you know, <laughs> but you, the thing is, with with Daniel Levy, like it's 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 a shame the way it's ended. But now, I when I, whenever I see his face, whenever I see his name, I just think. Angry thoughts, yeah, like yeah. I, it's just <laughs> thoughts of anger, yeah. and it, it, it shouldn't genuinely. It's like, it's like the ball of it red. Shouldn't, it shouldn't be like that. Crazy, yeah. hey, that's his opinion. Leave me, yeah. No, it's the truth. Don't run from me if you see it's me on that. It's, <laughs> it's just thoughts of anger because and because it's like I used to like you, bro. I I really no, used yeah, to yeah, like yeah, you. Yeah. I, I took pride in the fact when I was when I was younger in 2019. 20, I took pride in the fact that Didn't yo you know, he's the most shrewd negotiator in football. Did you used to boast about it? Did you used to boast about that? You're leaving. You're not going to come through and get up. You ain't getting my. Daniel, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, they're like, oh, oh yeah, we're gonna sign a player. I'm like, oh, okay, cool, but you, well, you're gonna have to pay top dollar. Yeah, like, yeah. It's, it was cool, but I think with Daniel Levy, times have changed, mm -hmm. and I feel like he he's tried to change somewhat in, in terms of this increased spend. And I think I think all the things he's done off the pitch is ultimately for the good of the club. I, yeah. I know you're. I, I I completely get your point around off the, the timing. Yeah, of yeah the stadium. Yeah. I get it because yeah. that was at a period where Spurs were flying high, yeah. flying mm -hmm. high, but. When you look at the amount of money that Spurs are able to spend because of the stadium and, and mm -hmm. the benefits that we get from mm -hmm. it, it's ultimately proved to be a good decision in isolation. Mm -hmm. However, my issue with Daniel Levy is, like Abby said, you had the same ambition for the, for the stadium to be built. Great. But you had a manager that was overperforming on the football mm -hmm. pitch. Yeah. And you, it's like you gave him the bare minimum. Yep. And that's what yes. I hated. And then yeah, you that's what him. I hated. You and sack him. him too. Exactly. And the Harry, yeah. and the Harry and Hold on. And before anyone in the chat says, oh, you lot all wanted Pochettino no, sacks, yeah? No, we did not. Yeah? Impossible. One, yeah, not all of us did, yeah? And Impossible. two, if some of us said, oh, you know what? It might be time for did him to go. It? I said, if someone... Did you say it? Wait, wait, yo, 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 yo. Wait, 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 it's what is that? I smell your feel. <laughs> no, I do. Fish. I do. I eat salmon now. Bruh. X. We got no. I got, I got. No, wait, 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 wait. Because I'm Cause not even going to like at the time there was murmurs Gee, of let me just wait. Say wait, let me tell you this. Bro. Certain man, like, I, was I wasn't singing no out or whatever, duh, 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 but what I'm saying is I remember the Brighton away. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You see after the Brighton away and this, yeah. that and the other, I remember making a video, will Pochettino, I've never said I want him sacked, I said, will Pochettino be sacked? Because this, these are the sort, like it was talk, there were talks about it, innit? Yeah. But let me tell you this, yeah? Anything that I got to say, yeah? You get me, fam, man don't, you get me, man's a fan, you get me, black. No, I am, I'm for fan, I'm reactionary. Look at him covering his wait, back. Wait, 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 mm. I'm a fan, I'm reactionary, you get me, blad, but he weren't living in my yard, innit? You know them way there. Daniel Levy, the relationship he had with man, you get me, because he never sat Pochettino for the fans, he didn't. I believe Nuno got sacked for the fans, yeah. you know what I mean? Because we said, get him out. We were saying, that Nuno United out. game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Past that. We, Nuno, the fans got Nuno yeah. sacked, but Pochettino, the fans never got Pochettino sacked because he had too nah. much, bro, he, he had, had too, too much, much credit, credit in the bank for Way us to even credit. say Pochettino out. I remember. And, and I some fans did. Though. Though. Yeah, I said Mourinho some, out. Some fans did. Not, not, when, not when they sacked him. I said it yeah. way before. So, some fans did, and I remember it being a very small minority of it. Bear in mind, this is three months after getting to a Champions League final, a complete unthinkable, and having a season before with no transfers, mm -hmm. and being at Wembley for two years, yep. uh, and what he was, the fact that we were still getting top four. With, well, with and, and, and we spoke about this before we started, and I said to you, for me, that is such a key turning point that season, because 
at that point, and it was already a bit far gone, but they desperately needed reinforcements, not just Ndombele and Lacelso and Jack Clark. They needed proper reinforcements, proper spend. We've moved into the stadium and we thought, as soon as we move in, we've been promised mm -hmm. in those chairman notes at the end of yeah, the season, yeah, yeah, yeah. as soon as we move in, it's going to be different. And Pochettino deserved it. And we tailed off at the back end of that season because we were going stale. Then we went into another season, just signing Ndombele, Jack Clark and Lacelso. It wasn't enough. And Coming off the back of that Champions League season, it can be very, it, it can be debilitating yeah. for a team that's lost it. We've seen it with Liverpool as well. Now, now we have that. He yeah. told us we'll go, we'd have to go for a painful. He did, yeah. but the problem was he didn't want to stick with the guy that had been had been there, walked over the hot coals literally in the few weeks leading up to that Champions League final for this team and put up with so much stuff. For Daniel Levy and this team suffered because of the move and things like that. He gave him three months and then he sacked him. This guy deserved the chance to rebuild. Like Jurgen Klopp, he's going to be given the chance Absolutely. to rebuild at Liverpool. Yeah. Pochettino deserved it at Absolutely. Tottenham. Absolutely. Do you, is, there, is there a little bit of an annoyance with you guys with the talk of him potentially taking over Chelsea? Of course. Yeah. Of course. Does does that, I, underst I understand. I do understand. Does that, does that undo that. anything? No. That did you hear, did you hear Tottenham, the, no Tottenham representatives have reached out to him and all of that? Thing. Mm. It's not like, oh, what would hurt me if he came back and then he said, oh, no, I ain't going back there. I'm going Chelsea. Yeah. Unless it was a thing where Daniel Levy said, yeah, this, like, if there was different circumstances. It's a bit like the, um, like, if, if they, if they tried to hire him back here yeah, and give him exactly what he had, yeah. Yeah. do you know what I mean? After he's seen, because bro, this is what annoys me as well. People will be like, oh, but Pochettino got given money and they nah. want to tell me Pochettino spent 200 million. Blood, we spent flipping 15 millions or some bums like in G, in, yeah. in G, in Kudu, <laughs> Uh, incapable, them. Stambouli, oh. Stambouli, fam. Look at all of these bums that I'm naming, fam. Janssen. Oh, my, oh my days, God. bruv. Oh, my Jeez. days. And the one time yeah. he was given money in, in, in Ndombele, I mean, my guy don't want to run. Conte so. got given, bruv. <laughs> Crazy. Forget about Mourinho and that. Conte got given the more most. than, than uh, what's his name, Pochettino ever got, yeah. blood. Yeah? Ever got. That one window we had this season, yeah, is better than Poch ever got. Yeah. When you actually look at the players, think about it. Who's Poch's best windows when he bought Endombele? That's when he started spending no. money. Are you, not, are, you not, are you not potentially scared of what he could do with Chelsea? Yeah, absolutely. Because, because he's, he's, got, a young, he's, he's got a young, he's got a young squad, and it's going to be the exact same thing that happened with us. You come in, oh, he's going to clear out all the, the dead shit. If he's given time. If he's well, I, I think he will be given time. They can't keep shopping and changing. He's the perfect manager for that job, and I genuinely, I hate the fact that he's going there. It hurts me mm. that he's going there because of how much he was robbed and we were robbed of seeing yeah, what he yeah, could do yeah. with that rebuild. And I get some fans say they don't want him to come back or they didn't want him to. Well, the option wasn't even there because our own board couldn't yeah. even, when we sat Conte at that point, that's when you say, listen, yeah. They're embarrassed, Abby, like, though. This is, the, the fans are still singing your name, and yeah. I can't think it's of another so manager. I, think I can't think of a manager that's been sacked where the fans still, mm -hmm. up until this Chelsea stuff that's yeah. going on, mm -hmm. were singing his name. A manager that was sacked by a club. Name me another manager. That's, that's, I, think I, I think I'll be very surprised if they haven't reached out to him. I was they saying, like, even with our kind of situation him. happening now, I will say I'm not sure Pochettino want to bring him back because I don't know if the leadership will actually give him what he needs. He's going to walk back Agreed. in under the same that circumstances heard, before and he might undo all forces. of his work. You know what I mean? I heard, I heard Levy wants to bring him back, but there's members on the board that don't want him back. And I'm mm. not saying any names, blood. Mm. You know them way there, blood. I'll, I'll that same sure. member sorry, on the board say? wrote so, me an email, blood. You know them way there. I was going to say. I ruined an opportunity for me, blood. Uh -huh. yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> nah, I feel him, blood. Yeah, they told me that. I'm not going to say what no, it no, was in no. that. Let's talk after you. I was going to say. Yeah, do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I want to um, hear this. Yeah, yeah. You mentioned wait, this as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I want to hear this. I want to hear this. Cool. <laughs> now nah, we ain't telling them. They didn't get it in back. <laughs> no, I, no, no, I think with the with, with the oh, potch okay. with the potch thing, yeah. I think it's it, like uh, it's disappointing that like he's going to manage Chelsea simply because of what he means to us and what he what he did for our mm. club, right? But nobody can. In my opinion, nobody can begrudge Pochettino for taking the job because ultimately Spurs haven't reached out to him, and I think now. Even though we are, it looks like we're not going to hire Pochettino, I don't think that's the end of the world for Tottenham if yeah. Daniel Levy makes the right decisions. Because I was like you, like nothing to do with Pochettino's quality as a manager, simply the environment that he's coming back to and simply based on the fact that I don't really like managers going back second time round because it doesn't hit the same. Do you mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? However, he actually was robbed of his chance yeah. to actually rebuild this team properly and... 
I'm more than happy for Pochettino. Now I'll say this with confidence. I'm more than happy. If he was give, if there was something to happen, yeah. mm -hmm. and he was, and all of a sudden he came available for the job, I'm more than happy for them to give him the opportunity. I didn't understand yeah. your your hesitance to bring Pochettino back because the one thing I can say about Pochettino, yeah, not that I want us to have scrubs and him to make them better. But even in the worst situation, he, managed he to manages make to make us play some football, And also bro. young players. Like but you know what is? We don't bring anyone but you know through. But you know what it is? You know what it is with Pochettino, though? It's like, he's elevated, in my opinion. He's managed PSG. He's yeah. now linked with Chelsea. Why? Would why he should back? he? Why? That's what I. Why should I was he have confused. to come? Why should he have to come back and deal with the same rubbish that Agreed. he had to do? Agreed. Agreed. Uh, Let me and, ask. And Agreed. a part of a, yeah. a part of me is, you know what? Like, I'm, I hate that he's going to Chelsea, but a part of me is somewhat nah, happy. Nah, nah, you nah, deserve nah. it. No, 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 no. Cut that out. Wait, 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 wait. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> I'm saying. No, I don't want him to listen. get fried on Twitter. I'm not, no, 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 no. I'm not talking about him. I'm happy he's going to Chelsea. I'm saying I hate that he's going to Chelsea, but I'm somewhat happy that he doesn't have to deal with the mess that awaits the next manager. Because I believe. I think the next manager, whoever it's Nagelsmann, they're yeah. in for a, a serious, yeah. a serious job on their hands. And that's, I would want him to come back when the conditions are right. Maybe new ownership, yeah. much better squad, because I feel like he can be the tipping Agreed. point between Spurs being nearly guys and then winning I trophies. Think, I, think think that's that's what what I think that's think, what he would. Right, that's what I would want. Do you think a new manager coming in and how much? how angry the Spurs fans are at the moment. It mm. feels like, like they're, it's, they're at a wit's end. But do you think Levy can actually change with him? Because you touched yes, on saying absolutely. he's made small incremental where he's opened the purse strings up a little bit. Mm -hmm. But do you actually think under Daniel Levy's ownership, we can actually be a successful club? Ideally, like no. Our last trophy was 2008, let's be honest. We're going 15 ideally, years now. Ideally, no. Uh, uh, well, if, I, if I'm, be, if no, I'm no, being no, truthfully no, honest... Man had to die in that. You know what I mean? An Audi Cup. Well, you if might I'm, cast yourself like... Yeah, if I'm being truthfully no honest... Respect. No respect. If I'm being truthfully honest, I don't believe that, that we're going to truly prosper under Enoch. However, oh, I think... Oh, do you get the hat for free as well, yeah? <laughs> Relax. Okay, then. That's what I thought. Still spending money. Still spending money. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. You get me? I know New Era never sent you that, blood. I you bought this. I bought this. New Era sent me shit. You get me? I, I, bought, I never got that. You got that so one. Nah, I know he, I know he I bought, bought this that. like two years ago, bro. Yeah, well, we were good, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I bought this. But anyway, Joseph. but I think... I don't believe that Spurs are going to truly be successful under Enoch. However, I think they, I feel, I feel like the, the simple decisions that they can take are there to make Spurs successful. Okay, you haven't got, you, you don't want to consider Pochettino. Some fans may not like it, fair enough. But the difference between now and when we initially sacked um, Poch or Jose or whatever is there's actually some really good managers out there. And one has literally fallen into your lap. Right, one has fallen into your lap that actually has the hunger, the appetite, and the quality to try and turn this around. It's up to you, Mr. Levy, bald fraud. Yeah, I can relate. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I can relate. I don't I've ever seen you without hat on. I can relate. No, I've, I've come here without a hat. Yeah, 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 yeah bit times. Like he's he's so, braved it. Yeah, exactly. So, like, um, take that out. No, I'm not taking that. No, yeah, rough right now. It's looking rough. You try to draw me out, you know? That's normally it. You're nasty for that. 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 Leave it. But the point I'm making is this, is like Spurs actually have an opportunity to turn a negative into a positive here. You have a manager that's actually waiting in the wings. And actually, I don't know why, but from what reports are saying to us, he actually rates Tottenham. Yeah. He actually rates Tottenham. He was he's interested in joining the club. Yeah, so again, he knows, Blad, but again, he knows we're, we're just that you get me, he knows that we can't turn around and disrespect no. him. Like, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> he knows we're lucky to have him. But, you but, know what but, I mean? But, but even then though, you say he's we're lucky to have him. You're right. But he from this from what I'm reading, he is it's not like a Jose or Conte thing where he's belittling Spurs. Nah. He Good. looks like he's coming into the job and he sees potential. Mm -hmm. But how can man be little Spurs? Who he was with Bayern. Who was he with before then? So Hoffenheim. Was he playing like? Yeah, no. Obviously, he's oh, not. No, he no, ain't no, got. Yeah. Well, he ain't got the C. He ain't got the CV. I know, right, maybe he can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know that. No, like, and like, with that, and, and that with those mean, clubs, I feel like those were kind of more maybe Spurs' level. Exactly. But let me let me ask you lot, you two as well. Like, do you lot think we can be a successful under Levy? Ever again, and then also, who who would you want as your next manager? Would it be Nagelsmann? Nagelsmann, you, I you're saying Nagelsmann, Nagelsmann locked I, bro. Nagelsmann, I, Poch, De Zerbi, and yeah, Those but man people. needs. Bro, man needs a footballing director or something like because I can't have the amount of mistakes that we've been making. Yeah, mm -hmm. the amount of dross 
You know what I mean? That we have bought. We just. To be like, fair, we did. You. We did have one. He just went to prison though. Yeah, I know, but again, that's them man's fault, blood. I don't Football know why prison. you're hi Football hiring prison. some Corleone, brother. You know them way there, yeah. That's just... fair, I think he might be going to actual prison as well. Really? No, no, yeah. like real, real. I think yeah. it's real yeah. prison. Behind bars, fam. Yeah. You know them way there, <laughs> blood. That like, link up weed. TV, blood. You know them way there. It's going to be peak, yeah. blood. He's getting that total recall. But you're, army, you're saying Nagelsmann you would prefer? Uh, no, nah, bro. So, Pochettino, uh, in an order, yeah. in order. Give me two, yeah. three. Yeah. Pochettino... Nagelsmann, De Zerbi, in order. That's me, yeah? In order. Yeah. You? I'd probably say the same, but I'd probably also agree. With, did you say Amorim as well? That's, yeah. that's who I would put in rather yeah. than Pochettino. I, I would, I would still rather have Poch so. because what, 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 I would love him to be uh, coming for home. For me, I, in this situation, I, him walking back in doesn't make sense. No. Just get Nagelsmann. I agree. They would be my top options. Obviously, Nagelsmann is the best of the options, but I think you also have to look. They're looking at the final coach, Arnie Slot. Mm. I don't know too much about him. Um, he seems good. Oh, honestly, I really... Is that the final? The final. Yeah, they're winning the title I, this year as well. I really cool. don't yeah. care, honest to God, who comes in. Remember, as, long as, Ajax, as long as they play good football, Spurs DNA football. Is that is that the most important thing? That is thing, the most though, important the thing to me. To come in, like, I, I'm not the, expecting bro, no to... No more five at the back. There's no more no. Bro, no more face managers, bro. <laughs> like Antonio, Conte, Mourinho. No more box office. Oh, look what they've won. We're little man... Bro, I don't mind. I don't even care if I know what his name call. is. I don't care if I know what his name is, bro. Yeah. When Pochettino came in, yeah, no man just knew him from Southampton. Exactly. I was just thinking, can yeah. this guy but even that, speak that's English? What I didn't we know. Need. We and need then to, I just got to love this, bro. We, we need to ideally find, I mean, if it's not Nagelsmann, whatever, I'm happy mm. for Nagelsmann. But ideally, we need to find the, the same st style of manager as Pochettino, mm. who plays the same type of football, the next Pochettino. That's kind of what we need yeah, for this club that wants a project because this is a project. And for me, in terms of winning something, that's way off. So yeah. when I say that I just want a manager that comes in and plays good football because I'm not thinking about winning anything, I would rather us finish eighth, honestly, Enjoy and it. have a whole season where you can focus on a Carabao Cup, yes. an FA Cup, yes. and the Premier League. I can't because lie. we can't be in anything else. I can't lie. I, I mean, want more. I'm not. I'm what do you want? Conference? Want conference, oh, conference? No, 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 not, not conference. They're not going <laughs> to do my streams. Not conference. Do my streams. Like I don't want. Login. I don't want conference. Yeah? They're not going to take it serious. I'm saying I want more. I, yeah. I want more. Even if they don't take it serious, I want more. Do you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So I would like that their next appointment is someone that they can actually see potential with for Spurs to actually go on and do something. But why can't they do that in a Carabao Cup? Why can't they do that in an FA Cup? No, they can. They can. That's what they should be focused on. Basics. I was talking about the eighth, the eighth place. You're, you're I don't, I don't want, say, I don't want eighth place. Saying, what do you, you want this you season wanna, six? You want, you want to see a manager that can come in, take this, and then potentially turn us into actual competing clubs. Yes, rather absolutely. than. But why can't so they why do that? Because you're saying the same thing. I think you're saying the same thing. So, what are you saying for this season? That's it. What do you mean this season? We finished eighth. You're saying, bro, this season's a right off the start. That's what Abby's saying. She's saying I'll take eighth place this season, bring in a new manager, and make him focus on our trophy. Next season. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Who's got time for eighth next season? Yeah, no, sorry, sorry. No, my bad. My bad. for, for yeah. this season, I would rather finish eighth and next season mm. go into it and focus on the Carabao Cup. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. The, the I stuff agree. that we, we the stuff Facts. that we write off yeah. and go off in the first Fully round agree. before we even get anywhere. I don't think we need to have. And I'm not turning my nose up at the Europa Conference League. I'm really not I am. because I think I we, am. we I should. Am. Hold on, we shouldn't be. I am. I have done. If we're in it, actually, if we're in it, go and win it. But I don't want to be in it. I agree. I don't want to be. I agree. However, we should. We shouldn't be turning up because that, yeah. we, could, we couldn't even win that. I'm no, being honest. But no, but this is why don't I turned my nose up at it. Don't I care. turned my nose up at that competition because I don't want to be in it again because I saw the mentality of every... I, I looked in their eyes. But Harry Wins was like the only that. one that played for us. But you know? this, but can that. I just say Bro, one thing? Can medals. I just say something? I totally agree. I don't see the point of being in it because they're not going to care about it. But for a team and a club that has won one trophy yep. in, in the last 15 years, we should I really, would say... Yeah. Go and everything. prioritize Facts. the Europa Conference League, Facts. win it, then you can roll your eyes at it because you haven't won anything. You're not in a position to roll your eyes at no trophy. Carabao Cup, first round against Gillingham. Mm. I don't want to see that ever I think again. we all agree with that one, Abby. Yeah. However, no one really wants to be in a competition. They don't, but the point is we can't, we actually can't afford yeah. to say that we're bigger than any trophy. And that yeah. kills me. Yeah. 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 How long have we been doing that? Redknapp Red Red was fielding Townsend and then man in the Europa League. But that shouldn't be. But I think that's what I'm saying. We're saying the same 
same things. No one really wants to be, like you said, you, you, you want to take eight. No one yeah. wants to be there. But yeah. if we're in it, I'll of take course. Eight. Then absolutely, yeah. go of course, go and win it. Seven, of course. I don't think anyone would say here, they don't want to win it. It's more, we don't really want to be us. in that competition. If I'm in it, I'll want to win it, but exactly. I don't want to be in it. Exactly. That's <laughs> the truth. Perfect it's way not to us. Get you get me. It's Perfect not us that are, that are saying it. I'm saying about the players. Yeah. I'm saying the players, and also we yeah. think that we're, we're too good for it, but the players who, th who think they're too good for the Conference League, you're not, because you've won nothing. A man's going to be paying tickets right. to go watch them to bum around, blood. Yeah. It's a waste of my if time. It, like, if they're going to be in it, at least play football. And Harry Kane's coming out, Harry Kane's coming out talking about, oh, if we're in the competition, we're going to no, you're I'll not. You you're not even going to be here next season. If Spurs are in that, it, if Spurs man. are in that conference, you to mind games, me, I'm not I'm watching a that. single game until we get to the quarterfinals. If we get to the quarterfinals, if I, I was going to say, I said that I'll be streaming the finals. I'm actually not watching a single game. game. <laughs> Sorry. I said I streamed the finals. I know, I know why that competition was designed. Mm. I know exactly why it was designed, and for that same reason, mm. I'm not. Can I just ask you one? Can I just one point on that? So, for a club that has not won anything with the men, with the mentality that we do, when we sometimes, you know, we've been the nearly men, we've been the bridesmaid, never. Yeah. Pride. Mm. In terms of that particular league, where West Ham could win it, they mm. could do. They won't. They, they probably won't. But even so, the mentality of just getting over the line yeah. on anything. If we were in it, would you not say they should go everything to try and yeah. actually win that to break the cu break of the course. curse? Break yeah, the that's cool. Yeah, we are that's saying that. That's what we're saying. Yeah. But we're not saying that we'll be on that journey watching uh, them. <laughs> do you know them with yeah. them? Because the reason why I won't watch it is because I know they won't play. Say Man fielded a Son Kane like a first team and yeah. they were actually playing football. I'm not going to be like, oh, we're going to win seven 0 I'm not going to watch it. I'll be interested but that's what to watch I'm saying. it. They should, but they, they ain't should shown, do that. Man. But that's last what it season, be. but too often we've seen it with too yeah. many managers. Of course, where but I'm saying this: if the Pochettino new manager was guilty of that, if a very manager, guilty of that, but that if a new manager came in and said. As his first thing, if we if we are in the conference, so you guys mm -hmm. say, I'm putting my first eleven because you're gonna yeah. learn what it means to actually, to actually have mentality win. and win something. Yeah, yeah. listen, but you run a risk. Up, Easy said than done. We've been going for a while now. Before we wrap up, yeah, it, we're going we, we all kind of do some form of content, I believe. Um, this season has kind of been are a role. Are some form of content? Like, it, like, <laughs> right. No, no. Like, you know them way so, there, like. Stream different companies. What are you trying to do? No, no, no. Do you like social media? Like that, that. <laughs> I was trying to do you like, like Mrs. Rose. <laughs> guys, well, I'm one. You're one. You're one. No, no, no. You don't have that. No, no, no. You know what I mean? Stream, you know, different studios, different companies, but... We all get our <laughs> things off in different ways as well. Yeah, how <laughs> all of that, blood? Lord have mercy, fam. Pause, pause. Why for that? Yeah, pause, 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 pause. But as a content creator, how, how's, what's this season been like for you? Rubbish. Because you, you've been suffering some phone calls <laughs> midstreams and all so, sorts of stuff. So Bro, I can't funny. lie to you. So, uh, hey, you've been A1 content yeah. this year. I'd say From this a is, content aspect. His Liverpool this clip. Is your what's best it, season. His yeah. Liverpool clip was crazy. What's, what's, it, what's it like Man. actually going through <laughs> that? Because for, for like neutrals enjoying it or me who's not actually experiencing that prank Let or whatever. Let me tell you what's crazy, yeah. What does I'm it feel like for you? Let me tell you what's crazy, yeah. So this has been one of the worst seasons of man's life. Like, man's had to take a break. Man all flew to Dubai for a mental break before the Southampton game. I swear. Do you know I mean, no, I'm serious. Like, I literally had to take like mental breaks. I got a therapist as well. Shout her out. You know them way there. <laughs> like, no, nah, you might think I'm joking. I got a no, better. I, I got a better help sponsor for my podcast as well because they saw I was suffering. You know them way there. But you know what it is, yeah. Like, I see how you say oh, I'm box office content. Like, you see what happens to man. Like, I don't remotely find it funny and it, ups it annoys me in that. But the wickedest thing, you see the Liverpool thing. When I actually saw the We Are Tottenham TV's reaction to the same thing I'm upset about, I was busting up. I don't know why. Because I know we both lose in that, yeah. <laughs> but you know when you see it, someone else, <laughs> like, it's this, someone else is upset. That was like me on Like, I was busting up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, bro, I saw yours too. Bro. Yes, yes, <laughs> fucking get in. You know when he gets excited, he breaks up from Cockney to something else. Bro. Bro. Yes, fucking get in. Oh, mania bro. is what bro. he bro. becomes, I was bro. busting up. But let me tell you this, this season has been the worst, the what, bro, to the point where I don't want to watch the game. It feels like work. Like, I'm lucky to be put in the position that I'm in, innit? Mm -hmm. Do you know them way there to be uh, doing what I'm doing? You know but what it I mean? Wasn't Shout out all this No! Bro, this feels like work. <laughs> when Dave sends me the link for the stream and I'm like, bro, push it back. You know them way there. <laughs> bro, it feels like work. I refuse to go back to the stadium, bro. I've been giving up my season ticket for free, blood. Free man like Morgan, blood. You get me? 60, 70 pound a pop. I ain't seen none of that money because I can't charge someone to watch that. Do you know them way? I can't. Do you know them way there, fam? And the wickedest thing is, yeah, I...
still have to renew my season ticket. Fam. That payment's coming up Bro. quick. Bro. Mate, have you, <laughs> have you not renewed yet? This is an abusive relationship. Yeah. I'm leaving it's like it the 3rd of June minute. or the 4th of June or something. 1st of July. 1st of July. Is it 1st July? No, 1st of June. It's June. I always wait. My dad, always me and my dad always well. say we wait till the mm. day before. Yeah. Yeah. Always wait till the day before. Just not, we're always going to pay it, but yeah, it's yeah. just the principle. Yeah, 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 I'll wait yeah, yeah. till the, the very last the hour yeah. of the very last day. Yeah. You and know then what? I'll pay. You know it. Right you now, it's listen, if they can still do them things where you can play in um, Sylvester installments, but yeah. I'm going to be doing that. No, nah, bro, there's some things, some, the yeah, v, the v I'm not paying yeah. that. You man ain't getting my one grand like that. No nah. way, blood. You might get three ninety nine dollars a month or something like that for the next however many years. <laughs> What's it been like for you two as well, then? It's just been hell, man. Like, you've been battered. You're, the thing is, you're getting <laughs> battered on WhatsApp. You're getting battered on Twitter. And to be honest, that's all Twitter. That's all, like, little, like, social media fingers. Yeah. That's, that's calm relatively calm when you, you've you got a cool head. But nothing compares to seeing this team actually grind your gears. Like, they, yeah. they infuriate me, bro. Mm. I was in Kenya. I was in Kenya, and I was keeping tabs on the Everton game. And I had a <laughs> face like a slapped ass at this, at this, at my mate's, like, engagement party. I had a, because I was just fuming. I just couldn't get it out of my head. Yeah. And it's annoying. And I, and I tried to, I tried to, like, switch off. I tried to say I don't care. I try, mm -hmm. But I do. I care, and it pisses me off. It, <laughs> me it, it pisses that, me off, bro. Yeah. I've, I'm, and, and it's only this team that can just make me so angry. Like, oh, yeah. You remember the, the Sheffield United game? Yep. You remember when oh. we did this? Yeah. I was, I, I swear, my I head think, was on Jupiter that yeah, day. I was fuming, bro. And that's fuming. the issue I have as well. It's like, I try so hard to switch off and do the like, yeah, I don't care about these, man. I've checked out for the season. And I'm talking like, start of the season. I was already preempting myself by saying, this is a bad window. Mm. Oh yeah, we're not achieving our target. These guys watching the area like, uh, 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 I was all preempting myself, but still when it comes, <laughs> you can't help. So I bad. still can't help but check results every week. Uh, keep up with games and every time you're just slapped Whoa. in every, the face. Every and whenever you think it can't get lower, it, it, it gets lower. Like, it and gets we have lower. a basement unlocked. Oh, you think 6-1 was bad? Liverpool heartbreak last yeah. week, come here. This Monday, everyone was saying, you're a bit quiet today, because you know what? For the first time in God knows how long I've been here, we we won a game <laughs> yeah. and we hadn't conceded a goal. I have held it so much in here and it has been such an awful season. I know people yeah. will say, you know, what about the 90s? I'm not talking about the 90s. I don't care about the 90s. I'm talking about the modern day, the present day that I'm living in, where I go to work and I, I can't bear it. And I've had so many <laughs> mental breakdowns on this channel. You only need to type it in to find it that, I am the queen of saying, I don't care. Yeah. I don't care, I don't care. Yep. Because I go through these stages, I don't care. Then I'm in apathy. Then I come back to, I hate you. Yeah. Then I'm like so <laughs> angry. <laughs> then I'm sad. Weird. Pain breaks a record He's and like, you're like, yeah. we're back! Well, yeah, that <laughs> Listen, if ever you needed a living... Why did I celebrate the Rochelle's Bro, why? no, 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 why? because, because like, you're... Why did I do because it? Because you're why? a football fan like why me. Because like you love, why? You love yeah. the club. Like, why did I do at 3-0 do down, why? everyone's like, ah, oh, this team's crap. I, I hated it. This, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I booked a roast. It's gonna I booked a roast. It's gonna be five. Aye. And then three when you're like, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> whatever, man. It's three, two. Do you know what? I think that's the thing. As much as we hate, as much as we hate it and it kills us, the problem is, is that we care so much and we get so angry because how much, how much we love the club. Mm -hmm. And the fact that I've, been, I've had my season since I was eight. Mm. I have not been. I've been to one game this calendar year, mm. which was Chelsea. Yeah. Because after the Villa game, to be fair, that was this calendar year, but the yeah. first day of it. Mm. After the Villa game, I was like, I'm done. I'm not wasting my time. I'd rather be working. I'd rather be watching it at home. I can turn it off if I'm pissed off. Mm -hmm. I'm not coming here. You know, I put my tickets on the exchange, let someone else come. And if they don't get to see the team all the time, they can come yeah. because I'm not going to do that. I pay my ticket and I know you have to support the team through thick and thin and I feel like I do, but there's yes. a limit to, there's, to how much I'm stress they can put on your life. If, there's if you can, say, if you can though, save up, if you can save off like four or five hours of your day, Mm. Not having to waste your yeah. time coming to the to the ground and spending this mm. money, you can watch at home. Do that, and that's I'm with right. you. And I've you know been doing that since, you know yeah. since the Milan since the Milan defeat. Yeah. I've been doing that. And you I'm know what see, people want to say? You know what people want to be saying to us as well? Yeah. yeah. And this, I'm gonna I'm gonna bury this right now because a lot of you fans are gonna be like, oh, Tottenham fans are only upset like that because of what Arsenal's doing. Yeah. Let Nothing me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Where what are we six now in six spots? Six. Yeah. Say Arsenal were eighth. Yeah. You know why I'd still be angry? For the simple fact that we've conceded like 59 goals or something like that, blood. Man's lost. Bro, when you look at our win-loss record, bro, we've lost and drawn more than we've won. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're a little man. Our record thing is like them man down there, bruv. Right in full of them, man. You know what I'm saying? 
Shout out Seven Lost Team. Like, was anyone, yeah, yeah, was anyone, yeah, yeah. what's going on? Was man? anyone happy with the season um, when Ryan Mason ended it last time when we finished seventh no. and they finished eighth? No. No. Was anyone happy with the season when we no. finished sixth and they finished? Nobody no was happy. Care. No. no one cares. No. Nobody Listen, was happy. If, if, there's, if there's one. And now these men are going to celebrate like getting into the Champions League over us, blood. I said, you know what? We need nah, a break. You the title, man. We Stop need a break. Grab, yeah. We need a break. Have that Champions League. You, 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 you don't have, get you that title. I'm cooking everyone. Everyone. That like, like, Walking teaser, <laughs> Jaden Sandwich, blood. <laughs> that that uh, Diet Sugar Night. That's on We've AFTV. We've got beer to fry. Is, blood. I'm telling you, everyone's getting cooked, blood. Every single one of you, bro. I'm putting right. Turkish on the menu next to my <laughs> Dana Kosti. I'm telling you, bro. Everyone's getting cooked. I'm shameless, blood. The treble is on, fam. That's 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 what we got left this year, pretty much. Because it's been we that type of year, but I, I was saying earlier, like I've if there's any family to that, but it's got a different badge. It's got a city badge. <laughs> yeah, a couple of city badges here. Yeah, but yeah, if there's free, one group of the fans, I feel like that no one can question their loyalty. I feel like it has to be Spurs. Hundred percent. Like what we've been through, through thick and thin. Listen, it's been and then we madness. get because we're the influencers. We get it on Twitter. Oh, he's 100%. not proper Spurs. Oh, he supports it. Man, man what? Man no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. 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 Hold I don't know whether this has felt like a therapy session. I feel better. Meeting. I feel better. Do you feel I feel better? like we've got some shit off our chest. I feel like Jason better pay me what he said that he was going to pay me before you know he went on air. <laughs> <like>, you know what <laughs> <what? laughs> I'm Well, listen, nah, nah. On the same page. We appreciate you all who've watched nah, us playing, for this long. And listen, it's been an interesting conversation. Let us know your thoughts in the comment as well. Make sure you like the video as well. Subscribe to the channel. There should be plenty more other content coming out as well. We are out. Take and care. for all you Arsenal fans, yeah, that are going to be laughing at our pain, yeah, on that Walking Maltese's second hold channel, it. yeah. Hold you, down. man, hold are it. not winning <laughs> the league. It's over, fam. You know, like that, there's more chance of Robbie coming to the next Best of Enemies with Jerry Curl than you, man, winning the league, yeah? It's over. You've got bigger feet right, to well, Take care. <laughs>